Welcome back to our channel. At this video we will learn new Primavera P6 tricks. At the end of this video, you will be able to know how to calculate manpower and do resource loading including its S-curve in Primavera P6. This is a totally free tutorial, so don't forget to support us by clicking the thumb up and subscribe. Without wasting time, let's start. To calculate the manpower at P6 you need three columns, quantities, standard man hours productivity, and finally the total man hours required. The total man hours equal to quantities multiplied by standard productivity per hour for which we will use global change to calculate. First of all, I will show an example of how to define a column in the user defined field. I will go to the enterprise user defined field. I want to add another column here. I will use text unit of measurement, and I will type the title as unit of measurement UOM. Now I will show this column here in the display. I will go to the columns, and then choose the user defined field, from the list I will add UOM. It is also necessary to show the unit of measurement for the quantity here. For the rebar it will be in kilograms. For farm work it will be in square meters. The concrete is in cubic meter. You want to assign the same to all. So, I will choose the command of filter. By filtering activity name, I will filter all activities contains rebar within its description. So, I have filtered all the rebar activities. Then I will select all the activities. And I will use the fill down order to share the same unit of measurement to all activities. Next, I will modify my filter and change to activity name contains formwork. After applying the filter, I will select all formwork activities and repeat the same again and change the unit of measurement to all filtered activities. One more time, I will filter activity name contains the concrete and repeat the same steps again to get the same unit of measurement for concrete works. Now let's remove the filter to see all activities. So, the unit of measurement to all the activities is given here. Now I will apply a global change to find activ activities man hours requirements. From tools drop down list, I will choose global change. We will add new global change and rename it to man hour. Now add a global change parameter and it will be man hour equal to quantity multiplied by standard man hours. Then click on change, now it is showing me the old zero values, and the new values I got. I will commit changes. I do not want to save the log file. Ok, then apply changes and close. Now all the values here represent required man hours for each activity. Now I will define the two resources here. I will go to the enterprise and then resources. I will define two resources. I will select add. Ok. Resource ID is quantity and the resource name is quantity. I will click next and then choose non-labor. As this is a general resource, so no need to provide the price per unit for those resources. Now I will keep on clicking next until finish. Again, I will repeat the same steps and add another resource for man hours.
and I will keep on clicking next until I reach the calendar option, which I may need to change if required. Here it is 5 working days per week. I will keep it the same and continue. Now we have defined these two resources, and I want to assign it to the activities. Go to Activities. And I will select All Activities. Click Mouse Right Click and then choose Assign. The double clicks on quantity to assign it to all. The small arrow here means it is already assigned. Now I will assign the man hours by double clicking the mouse left click. Now resource is also sent to all selected activities. If you want to check on resource, click on any activity. For example, rebar fixing. Then click on resources menu here. You see the two resources man hours and the quantity are assigned to it. Now for the quantities we need to modify the budget value to same value with the columns here. We can type here the same value for both the man hour and the quantity. But there is simpler method to do that. We can do this work in the Excel as I will show in the next example. I will export this project, so we will go to File, then Export, Spreadsheet. Then next I will click on All Activities Relationship, Expenses, Resource and Resource Assignments. I will click on this project, then Next. Now here we need to modify some options, so we'll click on Modify. And here we need the Activity ID, Activity Status, Activity Name, Cost, Start and also from the User Defined field you also need here the quantity. Also, you need the Man Hours. From here go to the Resource Assignment. The Resource Assignment have the same list of Activity ID, Start Resource ID. We need to add here the budgeted units, so go to Units, and from the list choose Budgeted Units. Select OK and click on Next. Here the Primavera asking for the location you want to save the exported file. We can save it at the desktop. We'll make a folder for our project and name it Sample Excel. And save your file inside that folder. Now let's go to that folder. And I will open that Excel file exported from the Primavera here. Inside my Excel file, I have the quantity value for the activities in the table here, and I have the man hour value as well. Now I want to assign those values to its relative resources. So, we will go to the task resource sheet. Now to assignment values we will link it using SUMA formula. The range will be the table at task sheet, press F4 for absolute reference. And the criteria will be the activity ID. The sum range will be the values of quantity from task sheet, and don't forget to press F4 for absolute reference. Now I will drag this formula for all activities to have the quantity values for each one. Let's test one activity value here, for example activity A1110 has a quantity value of 942. And the activity value is the same at task sheet here, so everything is fine. Now I will apply the same formula for the man hours. Now we will repeat the same formula for the man hours. Drag the formula down and here we have all man hours values assigned. Also let's check activity A1090 which have a total man hour of 14,368. So here is it the same and we are fine.
Not that we used the SUMIF formula, because sometimes we are working on sheets with thousands of activities which are not in the same order. And you need a formula to use to have the accurate resources values based on your activities ID. So, we must use this formula to have an accurate result. Now, I will save this file. And then close the file. I will import the file we prepared with the accurate values. I will click all these values. Update the existing program. Next and then finish. Now it will take some time importing the new value especially if it is large document. Let's open our project. Now all budgeted units for our activities and the man hours values at the column. We'll check this column. Notice that the man hours and quantities are updated. Now I want to check the histogram and the S curve of this values. I will select these options here for the resource usage profile. And at the end, if I select the man hours, it will show me the histogram and the S curve of the total man hours. And if I select the quantity, it will show me the histogram and the S curve for the quantities. Now, if I want to calculate the manpower in the Primavera P6, I will select the man hours. I will go here and click mouse right click and select the resource user profile options. And I will calculate the average by 260. From graph I will type here the number of the persons which will show me the total man hours. Check that in the print preview. Now it is showing me that in the beginning I need 15% of total man hours and then 31%. And at the peak I need more than 62%. Now I have calculated the manpower, and I also calculated the S-curve for my manpower in my project. If we want to see the quantity, how much quantity, how much time period I have to do, I will select the quantity. Resource user profile options on the graph. And then I will change this divided by 1. I will rename it as quantity. Slight changes. Now it will show me the quantities. How much quantity I will have to do. It will show you the histogram and the S-curve for the quantity. This is the way how to calculate the manpower and quantities in the Primavera P6. Thank you for watching.